Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to make an E to open a door. Just before the video begins I would just like to say 92.2% .2 of you guys are not subscribed. If you want to see more Roblox Studio videos like these make sure to consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you can be the first one to be notified every single time I upload a new video. So now that you've enabled Explorer and Properties you now want to go in and search your part. This part I'm right here I'm going to be using as the E button. But for this tutorial, I'm also going to be showing you on how to make it. So if someone clicks E on this button, this part will disappear. But it is also very easy to adjust the code so that if someone clicks E on this part here, that this part here will disappear and not this one. I'll show you how to adjust and all that a little later on. So this will be our E button. So on here, we want to just leave it as part. It doesn't really matter. And we want to go and insert a proximity prompt. Now you can go and adjust the proximity prompt all you want, but I'm just going to be setting the whole duration to one. You guys feel free to go customize it to however you would like, but I'm going to be leaving it as proximity prompt. Now over here on our part, which we are going to be changing, I'm going to go and rename this to block, just like that. And to rename it to something that you, that you can easily remember because we will have to change something in the script to whatever your block name is. I'll explain more shortly. Feel free to customize these parts to however you would like, it's completely up to you. But once you've finished customizing everything here, you want to go back to your part which has the proximity prompt, and you want to click on the plus button and insert a script. Then you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that's in the description, and bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code, and then paste it in. So now that you guys have inserted the code into the script, we want to go and change a couple things. So first of all, on line two, where it says games.game.workspace.yourpartname, you want to change your part name to whatever your part name is. So as you guys remember, this part right here is going to be the part that we're changing. And this is going to be our E button. So if you guys remember, our part here is called block. So there it is there. So, okay, my part name is block. What we want to go, we want to go back to the script and we want to remove your part name and enter whatever your part name is called. You are also able to adjust the wait time on how quickly everything will happen after someone clicks E. So I've just got it set on default here for 0.1. You can change that, it's up to you. You can test it out. But also what will happen here then, then we set the can collide to false, transparency to one, and then we also disable the proximity prompt so that when the part is disabled or when the part is open, the E button will not show. Then what it does here, wait, it waits two seconds. Then the can collide comes back. The transparency sets back to zero and the E button becomes true again, basically meaning it has been re-enabled. But you are also able to adjust the wait time on how long you want the door to be open for. So on default, just for tutorial purposes, I've got it as two, but you can go change that to whatever amount of time you want. Want 10 seconds, 60 seconds, two minutes, 120 seconds. It's completely up to you. But for this tutorial, I'll be leaving it at two. So once you've finished adjusting everything, you wanna go up to the top here, click on the X button next to script, and then you wanna go and click on play to go test it out. Also, please do make sure all your parts are anchored. So once you've finished adjusting everything, you want to go up to the top here and click on play. As you guys can see, we are now in the base plate and here is our E button. So as you guys can see, the E button is here. And as we have got a one second hold duration, the player needs to hold it for one second until the part will disappear. So there the part has disappeared. And then after two seconds, it has come back and we can walk on it and whatnot. But I'm going to do that again. And as you guys can see, we can walk straight through it and the, it's invisible, but the moment it comes back, we can't easily walk straight through where the part originally was. We'll do that one last time, E, and then we walk straight through, and as you guys can see, the part now has reappeared. If you guys wanted to support me to the extra mile, super thanks and being a member on my channel is an option. Super thanks is located just below the video, and to become a member, you can click the join button next to the subscribe button located below the video. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.